everyone in the last video i was mentioned the nikon f3 was the greatest slr camera comparing to the nikon fm2 so what are the advantages of comparing to the nikon fm2 also the one is mechanical camera and the others uh, nikon f3 is a electronic camera they can't compare like this but now we just ignore the mechanical or electronic what are the differences of nikon f3 for shooting uh, just for shooting and uh, compare the nikon fm2 and uh, i will give seven advantages of the nikon f3 comparing to the nikon fm2 and also have two complaints uh, this video may be a little bit longer, but I, I wish you like it and uh, enjoy it. So number one, the F3's operations feels great. Uh, the first great feel is the advanced feel, which is very, very magical. Your finger only needed to exert force in the first half of the stroke process. And the second half of the stroke process is almost automatically completed. And also, and uh, just need a very slight force to stroke the lever. And the internal gear has an obviously mechanical boost. Why Nikon made such a stranger? Uh, advanced film structure which is totally different from all camera in 1990s 1980s you know we usually advanced film act like this but the professional photographers at the uh, that film camera age the action sometimes was different when they didn't use a motor drive the F3 let them sometimes can shoot and uh, advance film like this very fast and uh, it feel like you don't even need to push your finger in place to complete the uh, film advance so the F3 was made for professional photographer who shoot a large number of shoots every day so that they can shoot easily and quickly you won't experience this amazing feel at any other SLR camera. Also, the rewind is also smooth and uh, light feel. There is no resistance and uh, you will even feel that the number of turns is less than other camera. I just feel maybe is the term, terms number is the same because it is so so light and small so let you feel the numbers less than number two the brightest viewfinder in all 35 mm SLR camera in the last century, the brightness of the SLR screens uh, developed rapidly by the 1980s and the 1990s. The viewfinder screen had uh, achieved perfect brightness. Even now, the current DSLR camera, the viewfinder brightness didn't exceed the, in 1990s. At that time, I remember we always talk, uh, people always talk the Minota X700, the screen is so bright, so amazing, blah, blah. But the Nikon FM2 was brighter than the Minota X700. However, the F3 even a little bit brighter than the FM2, which was the brightest viewfinder in all 35 millimeter SLR camera. Of course, it can only be said in 35 millimeter SLR camera because if you see the screen of Hasselblad, 
Hasoblad. Number three, the Nikon F3 of 100% viewfinder field coverage. It's which was real, what you see is what you get. Uh, first, let me explain the meaning of the viewfinder field coverage. For example, this is the image seen on the viewfinder. 100% coverage means that the photos taken just seem like this. But in the case of 93% viewfinder field coverage like a Nikon FM2, it will take more 7% on surrounding area. The Nikon has achieved 100% coverage since the first generation of Nikon F in the 1950s. Uh, the F2, F3, F4, F5, and later the digital camera DSLR, D3, D4, and D5 series are all 100% uh, viewfinder field coverage. Maybe it, it, it is very easy to make 100% on the mirrorless camera, but it may be require high cost uh, to make 100% on uh, SLR camera, so that the only high-end SLR camera can have the 100% uh, viewfinder coverage. Number 4. F3 has aperture priority shooting mode. Although for me, I love the manually exposure mode, but uh, it, if you have the automatically exposure mode, like uh, uh, aperture priority, it will very easily to take the street shot. Number five, powerful scalability to meet all the needs of photographers. One thing that Nikon is commendable that even the current D5 camera uh, can still use manual old lenses, the AI or AIS lenses. The FM2 cannot be mounted with a non-AI lens uh, which was before the AI, because they have the switch right here. However, the F3, what they did is you can uh, push down the a little button right here. And uh, when you do that, uh, put that down, it allow you to push up that little notch. So you can mount the non-AI lenses uh, of the early years, the classic lenses. All Nikon SLR camera have a little window here, which look at the aperture small number on the lens and uh, then show it in the viewfinder. The F3 goes a step further. When you press this button, a little light comes on, shines light out onto the aperture ring so that you can still see the aperture number and the shutter value in the dark. The F3 have not many functions. It is still a simple camera, but every you truly need for the shoot, it all have. The F3 has a huge extended accessory systems. Uh, it's amazing. Of course, the NASA version of F3 is a completely different system. That's very cool. The viewfinder can be removed and uh, replaceable with a different kind of viewfinder. And also, you can use as a waste level finder. Number six, more study buddy uh, from some professional news photographer and uh, some wedding photographer. Um, they use both camera, the F3 and the FM2. After they hard used the, the two camera in few years, the FM2 looks very bad, but the F3 it looks still good. Obviously, the F3 has used. Uh, uh, more solid materials. The FM2 may be easy to damage the shutter with uh, using motor drive for high speed shot. The F3 uses a cotton shutter that was for ensuring the reliability in high speed motor drive mode. 
Also, the FM2 has a high speed, like 4,000, 1, 4,000, but I have never used once the 4,000 speed in 20 years. I think the F3's 2,000 speed is enough. Uh, the F3, it is more heavier than the FM2, which was totally different. And uh, some people said the F3 is a tank, but uh, in fact, compared to the Nikon F4, the F3 is solid, but uh, still not as tank as the Nikon F4. The Nikon F4 was the totally tank. Number seven, the shutter vibration is slighter. You know, the biggest problem of the SL camera is the shutter vibration. And the people usually said the uh, safe speed above the 60, but uh, actually it's not true, especially on the FM2 camera. The FM2 camera vibration is seriously. If you shot with a slide film and a projector to print a large image on the wall, you will find that the handheld picture is not clear at the 60 speed. Basically, I think for the FM2, the safe speed for the handheld uh, is 250. But the F3, the shutter vibration is a little bit slighter than the FM2. Mm, so I think the, for the F3, the safe speed for handheld uh, is 60 or 125. The SLR manufacturer also knew this shortcoming in the 1990s. They tried to improve and uh, used a special device on the later Nikon F4 and the Leica R6 which that two mode was the slightest shutter vibration camera in the world and only Nikon F4 and uh, Leica R6 has. Okay, above are the seven advantages of F3. And then I personally think of the two complaints of the Nikon F3 compared to the Nikon FM2. Number one, F3 has no shutter lock to prevent the accidentally touch. When the advanced lever to this position, the FM2's shutter release button will be locked, even accidentally pressed. But the F3 can't do like this. Although the F3 can use this switch off to prevent the accidentally touching, the shutter, but it is not conveniently uh, as FM2. Number two, when F3 is loading the film, it must start from the number one frame to take normal shooting. After the film is loaded, the F3 meter does not work before the counter reaches the number one, and the shutter speed is only 80 until the number one frame. This will take two shots less than the FM2 per film roll. And this feature is the same even on Nikon FE2. I think maybe this was required by the photo editors. Maybe their film bags does not can hold more than uh, 36 frames. Okay, this is how I experience feel about uh, using Nikon F3. Uh, in the 1990s, it sold about $1,000. Do you think it was worth it? If you are choosing between the two now, uh, definitely, absolutely, Nikon F3. Also now, the F3 is a little bit cheaper than the FM2. That, that's unbelievable. Thanks for watching. See you.